Today we are going to see the topic traditional nutraceuticals. I am Dr. Anukrita Vadharkar from Department of Biotechnology. Today I am going to teach you the topic traditional nutraceuticals. Traditional nutraceuticals are natural food that contain several natural components that deliver benefits beyond basic nutrition. For example, lycopene in tomatoes it has some antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effect. Omega-3 fatty acid in salmon, it has some activity to regulate the autoimmune diseases. Reservatrol in grapes, it can be used for the weight loss. Saponins in soya beans, it can be used to decrease the cancer risk. The traditional nutraceuticals can be divided as follows. For example, a, B, C. The A is chemical component constitutes first nutrients, herbal and phytochemicals. Nutraceutical enzymes as well as probiotic microorganisms. Let's see nutrients as a traditional nutraceutical. The nutrients include amino acids, fatty acids, minerals, vitamins which are regularly available in our regular diet and they have a benefits for our good health and well-being. Most food contains vitamins that aids in curing diseases like stroke, cataract, osteoporosis and even heart diseases. Minerals found in plants, animals and dairy products are useful in osteoporosis, anemia and in building strong bones, teeth, muscle and improves nerve impulses and heart rhythms. Food that contain fatty acids like omega-3 acids or pupa that is they are potent regulators of the inflammatory processes maintaining maintenance of brain function and reduction in cholesterol deposition. If we discuss regarding the herbal nutraceuticals there are many herbal plants are available which have some unique compounds bioactive compounds and they show a good effect for our health. For example most of these are analgesic, anti-inflammatory, astringent, antipyretic and anti-arthritic. For example, aloe vera. Ashwagandha is also one of the medicinal plant which lowers the level of anxiety and improves the sleep in people with stress and anxiety disorder. Some of the herbal contain flavonoids like apiol, surulin that are diuretic, Carminative, carminative means which reduce the flatulence and antipyretic means which reduce the fever, for example, tulsi plant. Peppermint, it contains menthol as an active component that helps to cure cold and flu. You can see here the image of 10 based anti-inflammatory plants which are used for the skin care. For example, aloe vera, calendula, yarrow, St. John's wort, nettle, Licorice, camel, uh, chamomile, horse chestnuts, comfrey, and witch hazel. Some of plants contain tannin, which is claimed to be aid in the management of a depression, cold, stress, cough, hypertension, and asthma. For example, black, black grapes, spices like clove, they have some content of tannin, and which gives us helps to reduce the cold, cold and stress conditions. Proanthocyanidin, it founds in herbals, they are useful in the treatment or prevention of cancer, ulcer and urinary tract infections. The proanthocyanidin is present in chokeberry, cranberry and even raspberry as well as red currant seeds. Now let's talk about the phytochemicals. Phytochemicals are the plant nutrients with particular biological activities that promote the human health. They are also referred to phytonutrients. They work by serving as a substrate for biochemical reactions as a cofactor or inhibitors of enzymatic reactions. They act as an absorbent that bind to and eradicate the unwanted constituents in the intestine and improve the absorption and stability of indispensable nutrients among the others. Here you can see the classes of phytochemicals. Antioxidants, isoclavones, indoles, saponins, antibacterials and proanthocyanidins. Let's talk about the nutraceutical enzymes. These are enzymes that are derived from plant, animal and microbial sources. 
enzymes are an essential part of life without which our body would cease to function optimally medical conditions such as a blood sugar disorder digestive problems and even obesity have their symptoms which are eliminated by the enzyme supplement in the diet here you can see one table which is exhibiting the enzyme sources from microorganisms plants as well as animal the famous enzymes such as the catalase or glucoamylase cellulase you can obtain from microorganisms pectinates then uh, the hemicellulase you can obtain from the plant source while the pepsin trypsin lysozymes you can obtain from animal sources now what is mean by probiotic microorganisms probiotic means for life they are defined as a live microorganisms which when consume in tolerable amount they give us the good health and the health benefits these microorganisms are responsive bacteria that promote healthy digestion and absorption of some nutrients they most importantly act to the mob out the pathogen like yeast and other bacteria and even viruses which causes disease and these probiotics they develop a communally advantageous symbiosis with the human gastrointestinal tract they possess an antimicrobial effect through altering the microflora averting the adhesion of pathogen to the intestinal epithelium they compete for the nutrients necessary for the pathogen survival producing an antitoxin effect and retrogressing some of the consequences of the infection for instance probiotic can cure lactose intolerance by enhancing the production of a specific enzyme that is beta galactosidase which can help to hydrolyze the offending lactose in its component sugars here you can see some example of probiotics three genus for example lactobacilli bifidobacteria and there are some other species which play important role as a probiotic examples that is the lactobacilli acidophilus lactobacillus casei bifidobacteria adolescentis and bifidobacteria animalis etc from other species you can see the bacillus subtilis e coli even lactobacillus lactis or lactococcus lactis can be used as a probiotic microorganism in our daily diet we consume many probiotic rich foods for example yogurt kefir buttermilk aged cheese sauerkraut kimchi etc thank you